to Auckland where the traffic is so bad and the outlook so dire. Mayor Phil Goff says every potential fix is an option, including ideas like staggering school start times in the morning. Mr Goff was responding to new data out today that shows the average Aucklander spends nearly 80 hours a year in traffic on motorways. That doesn't include normal roads. 80 hours, what's that, two working weeks? New transport infrastructure and optimizations. I'm sorry for using that word. To the existing network are obviously Mr Goff's two key approaches. But he says he's open to looking into any alternative fix that could help reduce traffic. People are already saying, hey, what about public transport? Zach Fleming has more. Two things are certain in Auckland in 2018. The sun will rise and peak traffic will be borderline unbearable. Anywhere between 40 minutes and an hour, depending on what's going on, for about 8 k's. That's from Meadowbank, East Auckland, a 15 minute drive without traffic. The average Aucklander, according to the AA, now spends 78 hours a year, or more than half an hour each working day, sitting in traffic on a motorway. What it highlights is, is the, the, the pressure that the Auckland Transport Network is under. And it's not just on the motorway where Aucklanders waste time sitting in traffic. It's also before they even get to the motorway as well. At the Union Street Wellington Street on-ramp in central Auckland, just before 11 o'clock, so well past rush hour, we timed how long it took a minivan to travel 300 metres to get onto the motorway. And it took them 10 minutes and 40 seconds. 11am, 10 minutes to travel 300 metres to get onto the motorway. Barney Irvine from the AA says it's only going to get worse. Increasing population, 40,000, 43,000 person increase last year, 40,000 new cars on the road and, and um, Aucklanders are driving much more as well. Uh, it's pretty clear that the, the pressure isn't going to come off anytime soon. In Glen Dean, West Auckland, when Naresh drives to the city at weekends, it takes... 20 minutes. And on a Tuesday morning? Uh, 55 minutes to an hour. Uh, I leave around 7 and sometimes 8 or sometimes quarter past 8, so definitely an hour minimum. And Michelle from Murray's Bay on the North Shore? Uh, on a weekend or anything it's about 15 minutes, otherwise it can be an hour, hour and a half. So traffic on average quadruples Auckland's commutes. Auckland Mayor Phil Goff wasn't at all surprised by the report. For years, we have underinvested in that infrastructure, and today we're paying the price. We're paying the price in lost productivity, which they estimate at one to two billion dollars a year, and individually we're paying the price because uh, we're spending hours in our car. I, I leave now for work before six in the morning and go home generally after six thirty at night, so I don't spend three hours a day, literally, uh, in my car or on my motorbike. And it's making kids late for school. Auckland Girls Grammar Principal Nairi Ashmore says 70% of her students come from out of zone. She says Auckland Transport isn't doing enough to help them. They certainly have to get round the table and start talking to the transport providers to ensure that there isn't ongoing disruption. The Waterview Tunnel shaved an average of seven minutes off most peak trips, but it took four years and $1.4 billion to build. The AA says there are several smaller initiatives Auckland needs to start now. More park and ride to help bring down those barriers to, to public transport usage. And we also want to see firm congestion targets set for Auckland that are, are reported on regularly and very publicly to, to let people know how we're tracking. It also wants to see a congestion charge trial. Workplaces can do their bit by encouraging flexible work hours. And Auckland Mayor Phil Goff says it's even worth investigating whether schools could have staggered start times too. Do we need to look at every alternative option? I think we do, uh, because we have uh, road congestion at a state that even with the investment, which we're planning, of another $27 billion uh, spent on transport over the next decade, uh, we're going to have to just run fast to stand still in terms of congestion when you're adding 800 extra cars a week to the roads. So basically, Auckland's traffic is either going to stay as bad as it is now or get worse. And Aucklanders, your options are don't drive or deal with it. For Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.